County Jail in Texas. They have no process for giving an inmate back their money. Yeah, there's something wrong with the state of Texas and them having this uh, ability to steal money from people. Uh, over in Pampa, Texas, uh, Gray County, I believe it is, the sheriff's department there and the whole little system they got are notorious for stealing. They uh, they pulled my boyfriend over, and uh, they claimed he like changed lanes weird, or something like that. They pulled him over, and because he hadn't made it to the bank in a couple of days, he had the money for his new business in the vehicle with him, and they stole thirty six thousand dollars from him, and. They try to charge him with money laundering, and uh, they didn't. And this has been this was started February of last year, so February of 2022, and they're still dragging this out. They even when they impounded his car late, late last year, they tried to sell his vehicle before the case was even closed. The case is not closed yet, by the way, and they got caught doing that. And so they also tried to break into his phone and. Uh, which may not sound uncommon, but when you arrest somebody, their phone, their keys, all this stuff goes to the property lockup. His phone did not. And I know this because his phone was set up that if someone tried to break into his phone with the wrong code, it would send messages and pictures to my phone. So they did. It's the picture of the sheriff's station. This is one of the pictures that was sent to me. So you can tell that his hat says sheriff. You can see a caution tape in the background. Everything. And this is what it does. It sends SOSs and locations. So they kept trying to break into his phone. And they started giving addresses to where the phone was going. So the phone was not in the property lockup. Even 7, 3, 10 in the morning, 7, 10 in the morning, I tell them to stop fucking with his phone. They continue to fuck with his phone. This cop had his phone out of the property lockup and going around town all over Pampa, including one of the places is a donut shop. The irony is not lost on me on that one. It was some Baptist church or something, and one of them is the address to an attorney called Joshua Seaborn that works for the state. So with 30 seconds left, the Pampa Police Department, the judge, and everyone there can't be trusted. They will steal your money and then they will not handle your evidence properly at all and then drag the case out for as long as they can because they know their case is shit. And it's been a, over a year and they still haven't filed charges. They tried to uh, a few weeks ago a, after over a year and they still can't manage it and they won't give the money back. You guys are shitty thieves over there.